When the sun is beating down, there is nothing like air conditioning, but traditional aircraft systems are too heavy and sap too much engine power for light sport aircraft. Hello, everyone. It's Russ Niles reporting from Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, Florida. Here's Ron Corby of Corby Aviation to tell us about his cool solution to those problems. This is the Alto 100, and uh, like most of the light sport aircraft with bubble canopy, it gets very warm inside. It gets uh, to the point that, uh, especially down here in Florida and some of the southern states, that can be extremely warm. So we chose, uh, uh, we, we looked for an air conditioning system hooked up with a company called AMT and uh, they worked with us. We installed it in the Alto and uh, it works very well. It's a, it's a Freon based air conditioning. It's electrically run and it drops the temperature uh, 20 degrees minimum uh, and it really uh, is very effective. This is the uh, air conditioning system uh, typically, this would be on the base of the or on the floor of the aircraft. This is the condenser, and there is a blower on the back side of it, and it draws air up into the uh, condenser, and then exits back out the back of uh, the floor of the aircraft. There are three compressors, electrically driven. They're controlled by this box, and uh, it's a 24 volt system. The evaporator goes on the back bulkhead of the aircraft. It has a fan. This is a variable speed fan on this. And there's a core in there, the, the cooling part. The, the hoses are very short uh, run hoses, so we don't have hoses going every which way. And the, uh, the, the only thing you see in the aircraft is an overhead duct where the exit, uh, air exits out. Um, there's switches on the panel. It is a variable speed. And again, this is our mock-up, but it's uh, fan or air conditioning and off. And that's basically the whole system. It's uh, very lightweight, uh, again, 20 to 22 pounds. And it works, uh, we've, we've, it's set up that uh, we can put this in a light sport aircraft or an experimental aircraft, uh, depending on what you have. It works with the Rotex engine, uh, or like Homings, Continentals, whatever you have. It has its own dedicated alternator just to drive it. That's for the Rotex systems. If we were using with an experimental, they may have 24 volt system, then they would use their own alternator. But uh, the total weight of the package is uh, about 35 pounds. The air conditioning itself is down around 20 to 22 pounds. Yeah, I've been flying this aircraft for quite a while. We've installed this uh, several months ago and uh, used it quite a bit. Uh, it's very effective. Uh, down here in Florida, we use it on the ground and uh, in flight. Uh, it, it works both places. For more information on the system, go to CorbyAir.com. This has been Russ Niles reporting for Avweb from Sport Aviation Expo in Sebring, Florida. Thanks for watching.